Coming up in this clip, I answer a question on how to control Docker and other containers like a front-end proxy from inside an application container. Question here is, I have two containers in Docker, one for PHP and one for Nginx. I need the ability to restart the Nginx service from within the PHP container. How would I go about doing that? What are the common practices when a web application requires to run a command on another container? Um, and then I ask for maybe some more details about why the PHP needs to restart a different container. And uh, he says it has a way to do, it has a way to do with multi-tenancy from within the application which is a PHP container. It creates a configuration of Nginx on the fly, and for that, it is needs a restart for Nginx. So this is an interesting question because what it really comes down to is we're talking about containers managing containers, right? The applications inside a container managing the infrastructure. And that's why all these tools, we're talking about Docker, Swarm, Kubernetes, all those tools have web APIs. And that's largely the way that you would manage these tools. So don't think so much of that you need to go in to the container itself from PHP and maybe somehow hop from PHP and talk to Nginx container directly. What you're really gonna be doing is to having your PHP container have access to the APIs that it needs in Docker. Or if you're using orchestration and you have a multi-server cluster, then it's what it's gonna to need to do is talk to the orchestrator, whether that's Swarm or Kubernetes. That's the design of these tools is that you can operate them through APIs, right? So in your case, a couple of things you need to worry about and maybe check out. So the first thing is to concern yourself with security, right? You've got to ask this PHP app, if you're going to give it control of containers, it um, ideally is only going to be able to control the containers that it needs to. But that's not something you get out of the box with Docker. You're going to need to do some sort of authorization plugin that does scoping around controlling what, you know, giving access to limited numbers of things that, uh, in a limited scope, right? So that's least privileged concepts where we wanna make sure that your PHP container can only actually affect the Nginx one and not do whatever it wants to do. Now, if you're, this is just an internal system or something that you're not terribly worried about security, sure, just have at it. Um, basically, you're gonna give it an API endpoint. And the one of the ways you could do that securely is if it's, if the simplest way is if it's just running on a single machine running Docker is to give it access to the socket. So if we went into my dog versus cat repo, the one of the examples here is traffic and traffic is like Nginx. It is a re reverse proxy, a front end proxy. And a lot of these orchestration proxies get their commands from looking at the orchestrator itself and changing things based on the orchestrator. So one of the things you might um, consider is, and if you're not aware of it, is to look at some of these things like traffic. There's also another one called Docker Flow Proxy. Um, there's lots of other tools like this that they operate at the orchestrator level and they change, they are themselves the front end proxy and they will change their own config based on what's happening in the back end. For example, if new containers spun up or new services spun up or in Kubernetes, new deployments spun up, the front end proxy could automatically route traffic to them by reconfiguring itself on the fly. Now that stuff's all built into these tools. Um, that may not fit your exact need, but let me just show you the example here of stack proxy. Let me zoom in a little bit. All right, so, mm -mm. So right here, what you can see is this particular traffic container is running as a service in Swarm. And the way that it controls the Swarm and the multi-server containers, uh, I have a dog. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Um, the way it manages all these containers is directly through the Docker socket. And then it can speak HTTP directly to that stock socket and doesn't need to open up a web API over a TCP port. So that's probably the safest way for you to do it. If you can run these PHP containers on a server that has management control either over that entire server or if it's a multi-server cluster, let's say in Swarm, it's gonna to need to be on a Swarm manager. And then you won't need to open up TCP ports and worry about that um, 
You can also do other things that reduce the scope without having to have a full authorization plugin solution. And I showed that example here in Proxy Global where we use something Uh, I think it's called Docker Socket. And Docker Socket here is an interesting little, um, it's an interesting little proxy. And it uses HA proxy in front of the Docker proxy itself. And then it limits, based on environment variables, what you can do through that endpoint. So it's an interesting way of getting around needing a full RBAC authentication plugin. And if you're not familiar with those, they're just full tools. Oh! Puppy update. Are you wanting me to hold him? No. Okay. I just wanted to... <laughs> uh, puppy in the shot. Um, so you can you can check this one out. It's actually called uh, let's see Docker Socket Proxy. So I think there's a GitHub link. So this might be a way for you to secure it. Also, I'll send you traffic link. And. So that's how you would go about it. At, at the end of the day, if none of those things work and you just need PHP to restart or change out a container, the way that I would do it is I would have it talk to the Docker socket, whether it's over TCP or the file-based socket. Uh, it would talk to the API of Docker, and then it would update that config file in, let's say in Swarm, you have configs. In Kubernetes, you have configs. So you would write that config to those values inside the orchestrator, and then you would have it change out the service running the Nginx container. So that's kind of the workflow you would have it do. You wouldn't necessarily have it rebuild an image and then redeploy that image. That sounds painful. What you'd wanted to do is change out any secrets or any configs because those are storage variables that are kept inside the orchestrator. If you're not using an orchestrator and it's just a single server, then you could put that file, write it somewhere to the hard drive from the PHP container, write it out to a volume, and then have that volume mounted into the Nginx container and pull that, that file into itself by just having your PHP edit or manage the Docker API, right? So that's how you would do that. Hopefully that helps. It gives you some ideas to get you closer down the road. There's lots of ways for you to solve that problem. Hopefully that gets you closer to your solution, but it's a great question. Thanks for watching. Click the subscribe and the notification bell down there will let you know when I go live every week to take your questions on Docker and DevOps. You can watch these videos over here or you can just go watch those cat videos you've been meaning to watch.